sweet spot, but who knows? So as always, be sure to like, subscribe, and share, and put your thoughts down below. So with that, let's move on to our next story. So this is all about Anna Marie Wiley wiling the F out. Like this girl needs to calm down. She needs Jesus. She needs to take a Xanax. She is out here acting a damn bull. A damn fool. So I don't know if you guys saw it or not, but there is this parody account up for Crystal Kong Minkoff. There's a lot of parody accounts out there, you know, whether um, on Twitter or on Instagram. And usually they'll have like their stand, the person that they really like, and then they'll put out, you know, fun memes or jabs or jokes. But everybody pretty much understands it's a joke. It's a parody account. It's not the real person behind it. Unfortunately, Anna Marie Wiley is not that bright or smart. So let's get into it. This is from Reality Blurb. It says, Anna Marie Wiley seemingly assumed that a Crystal Kong Minkoff parody account was the real thing and then called Crystal's husband, quote, the Lion King and suggested that she doesn't have, quote, actual money. The co-stars feuded throughout the season, though they both recently revealed that they won't be returning to the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. On April 16th, a Twitter parody account calling itself Crystal Minkoff told Anna Marie, worry about your transphobic R-word husband. Anna Marie then wrote a post of her own, seemingly assuming that the parody account was actually Crystal. She says, quote, false allegations against athletes are easy. Anyone with actual money knows that, wrote Anna Marie on the same platform, on the same platform. Via at Giorgio says on Instagram, quote, wrote, you worry about your husband, the Lion King, and your brother. And then she does this sort of weird emoji um, and like a snowflake for, for that matter. Oh, and that video of you blurting out the N-word getting out. Fake, woke, racist. Okay, so that is what Anna Marie said, okay? Which is absolutely disgusting. So the parody account then shared a screenshot showing that Anna Marie had blocked them. And then they said, don't dish it if you can't take it, wrote the account. Fans then shared their reactions in the comments. Okay, now this is the thing, in case that was confusing or convoluted. Basically what happened is a parody account of Crystal Kong Minkoff, not the real Crystal, Shaded and read for filth Anna Marie. Anna Marie then responded to the parody account as if it was actually Crystal because she didn't do her due diligence or like any normal person and check the handle and check to make sure that the person you're talking to is an actual person and not a bot or a fan. Now, this is the gag. So the reason why the parody account showed that um, Anna Marie Wiley had blocked them is because Anna Marie, in her response, tagged the real Crystal Kong Minkoff, acting as if it was truly Crystal who said it. So what this means is Anna Marie got read by a fake account And then she realized after responding or whatever she thought that it wasn't a real account, tagged in Crystal to make it look like it was really Crystal who said it. Anna Marie, you're a weirdo. You're a liar. This is bizarre and just insane. And you're a scammer. You're a grifter. First of all, Crystal and her husband and her whole family, they do have real money. Her brother was some pop star. Her husband is an an executive and director for Disney. She has a very lucrative coconut water company. Like they have the money. I'm not counting anybody's money. I don't, maybe Anna Marie Wiley and her husband have money too. I don't know. I personally don't really care, but Crystal and her husband definitely do. And it's a lot. Like if I'm Anna Marie, the last thing I would do would be insinuating that Crystal and her brother are gay and having an affair. That's basically what she insinuated. I should should have taken a screenshot of it, but you guys can look it up. 
she's like, worry about your brother, your husband, the Lion King and your brother. And she does this sort of like um, two fingers together emoji and a snowflake. Is that what she's insinuating that they're kind of like on the down mode together, like that they're like together snowflakes? I don't know. But when your husband and you are being accused of being transphobic and then also the SA allegations and lawsuits against your husband, I would maybe, Anna Marie, worry about your children rather than arguing with fake Twitter accounts. Maybe get your children some help. Maybe get them in therapy because I don't care who you are. As a child, having your father have lawsuits against him for essaying multiple women can't be good. So Anna Marie, get your priorities straight. Instead of clapping back at fake bots on Twitter, instead of, you know, being psycho and tagging Crystal like it was Crystal who said it when, when you finally figured out you were talking to a bot, you tried to set up Crystal, worry about your family. Worry about your family. Talk to your husband. Did he really do this? Yes or no? Worry about how your children are handling this. Keep your own house clean. Worry about your own mental health. And I don't mean that in a disgusting way. I mean that in a real way because Anna Marie to me seems like something is off. There seems to be a ticky ticky boom there. The way she says she'll literally say something and two seconds later be like, oh, I never said that. And the thing is, I think she actually in her mind either doesn't remember or is it disassociating or something. I don't know what is going on with her and like in her. I don't I don't know what's going on, but she needs to be looked at for something. And I'm not saying that in a derogatory way. I'm, I would never make fun of mental health. I mean that in a real way. There's something there's some tick. There's something off. She needs to really worry about her own self and her own family because they're facing some big stuff. But it seems to me her biggest priority is clapping back at a bot on Twitter. She needs to, she needs to make sure her own house is clean. Uh, so more fans reacted. Imagine thinking you're clapping back, but you're responding to a bot account wrote at Giorgio says, what if Crystal is behind the parody account too, just to mess with everyone, speculated another viewer. No, I don't think Crystal is behind that. I don't think she would do that. She sounds upset. I wonder if she's really mad she wasn't asked back. I mean, Crystal isn't coming back either, so move on, wrote a critic. I couldn't imagine being this upset about a situation that I will probably never be a part of again. Another fan claimed Anne-Marie should have said it on the show. Bloop. So I want to know what you guys think about, you know, Anna Marie still out here wiling out, still out here doing the absolute most that nobody asked for. Put it down below. Let me know what you guys think. And as always, be sure to like, subscribe, and share. So with that, let's move on to 